cannot be clear enough on this point. I cannot express it enough. My argument is not hating women. It is not racial supremacy. It is moral supremacy and spirit supremacy, the spirit of righteousness. There are many people who look black, and there are many spirits that they have. Only the spirit of righteousness, moral precision and focus, moral intensity, makes for the ideal person, makes for the superior person. Okay, so this comes from God. In regards to women, okay, first of all, let me wrap this up. Okay, so the people who pretend to be in the spirit of righteousness, the presidents, the politicians, the preachers, everybody who's in a culture that's allowed, okay, they are the worst decision for women romantically and the lowest forms of life. They are trying to come between God and his children, the righteous and the most attractive women. They're trying to come between morality and finding its way into uh, the people. Okay? They are trying to damn people to hell by deceiving them where it matters most. Okay? In regards to hating women, Psalm 68, 11, I'm first going to give you the bitch-made interpretation, and I'm going to give you the truth. The Lord announces who the the Lord announces and the woman of the The Lord announces the word and the women who proclaim it are a mighty throng. I think I forgot to write in the word part. So it's something to that effect. A mighty throng is a largely a large densely pa uh, packed uh, crowd of people. So these are the type of bitch ass motherfuckers that are sabotaging me, okay, to confuse you. You are forbidden by God to date the rich. You are forbidden to have sex with anyone at this point. So there's no confusion. These are the bitch-ass motherfuckers. Everyone who has sex, after I forbid them the first time, will be punished severely in the afterlife. You fucking sniveling cowards, you animals, you dogs that think with your dicks how you think in terms of shelter, food, and humping people. You inferior forms of life, you cowards. You fucking cowards outside of the gate, footstool bitch. Okay, so the cowards interpret this, inscription, uh, this scripture as... If you're in a big group of people, you're blessed by God. If you're Nazis or communists in Russia, you're blessed by God. You're the bitches in the military or the bitches in the police force and the bitches in some biker gang. You're blessed by God. Bull fucking shit, you super church pussies, okay? What this actually means is the Lord announces the word through the king, the top martial arts. Exodus 15.3, the Lord is a warrior, not a groupy-ass, a loud, pussy-ass bitch, a warrior who mans up like John the Baptist and Jesus in the story. Okay? And the women who pronounce it, they are the, a one-man army, so to speak. They're not going to conquer you in your flesh-based game. They're not going to fight you in MMA fighting or any bitch-ass, coward, sniveling, whiny-ass, groupy-ass, punk motherfucking shit that's allowed. They are conquering you where it matters most, in principle, in spirit, in morality, you stupid motherfucker.